timeline was that I was 21 when I, when I sold the company. Wow. So uh, yeah, I was 19 when I formally started Oculus. I'd been working on virtual reality for years at that point as a hobby. Okay. So I started working on VR when I was 15 or 16. Started Oculus formally when I was 19 because I realized that I could do real-time pre-distortion on a graphics card in real time hundreds of times per second in a way that made it where I could use much cheaper lenses and still have the headset be much lighter and much wider field of view than anything out there. Figuring out how to do that was the reason that Oculus was possible. But there were a whole bunch of other small innovations that we came up with along the way. You know, I, I hired, hired a really good team of people. One of the things I loved about working in virtual reality is that uh, nobody had any good reason to do it. And the reason that that's great is because in so many businesses, you get people who are there because you can make a good paycheck. Like, for all the yeah. lawyers in the room, I'm sorry about this, but this is crazy. You won't believe me. There's people who are lawyers, not necessarily because they've always had a passion for law. <laughs> uh, and, and I think there's people who work on Wall Street. It's not because they necessarily have a passion for running hedge funds. It's because those are places where you can make a really good living. There's a lot of money to be made. There's a lot of prestige. Uh, you can build a good lifestyle business. You can often retire early. All valid goals. Financial independence is great. The VR industry, by you know, comparison, had never had a successful company in history. Every VR company in history had been a total failure. And there were a lot in the 80s and 90s, none in the early 2000s, really, because wow. it was such a dead idea. And so here we are in 2011, 2012. Everyone who worked for me was someone who was working on VR because they wanted to work on VR. Nobody was working on me because they thought they were going to retire early on it. Nobody was working for me because they thought it was prestigious yeah. or because they were going to make a lot of money. In the, in the way, we were a band of misfits. Today, we call ourselves the true believers. It was all the people who worked at, at Oculus and on VR before Facebook bought our company for billions and kind of proved that this market was going to be going somewhere. And so, I mean, th those were... Those were really cool days to work yeah. with a bunch of true believers who just loved virtual reality, loved the technology, loved what we were doing. And we, we didn't think we were going to make as much money as we did as fast as we did. Yeah. Uh, but we really believed that virtual reality was an important technology to work on, whether we succeeded in our particular iteration or not. And you know, I still talk with all the true believers today. And I think what's interesting is all those true believers, they were the people who, when the going got tough even later, so after we had lots of money to work with, that those are the guys who would still be in the office at midnight. They'd be mm. the ones who were working seven days a week because they were the ones that were there because they believed in VR, not because they were there for a paycheck. And yeah. like, to, to, to be honest, like I hired people who were there later and they saw it as just a, a stepping stone for their career. It was, they'd come in, do it for a few years, mm. move on to the next thing. And I'd say, none of those people are still working in VR. They've all moved on to some, hey, one of them actually is working on Wall Street. So I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's really interesting to look at that in hindsight yeah. and uh, how privileged I was to work with a group of people like that. And now I, I get to do it again. My new company in, in the defense space, we have a lot of true believers who are there for similar reasons. The only difference is that everyone is very convinced that I'm gonna make the money.